What is up guys? Welcome to today's video and right now behind me is the all new 2020 Toyota Corolla Altis. So let's go ahead and do a first look video of it. The Toyota Altis is a long-standing nameplate that has stood the test of time for its practicality, durability, efficiency, and great value. It has served small families and even first-time drivers to travel around the metro. But Toyota started producing smaller vehicles like the Vigo and the Vios to cater a wider audience and offer a more affordable pricing. So what do you get for a compact sedan with a starting price of roughly 1 million pesos? Let's find out. The Altis was once known for being conservative with its styling and that mindset's changed with the 7th generation. The sporty and aggressive front end resembles the all-new Camry which features a large intake in the bumper. The model we have here is the base automatic variant and this results in the absence of front fog lights and the sharp projector headlights are halogens. Thankfully, there's an LED daytime running light as standard. The side profile has a 3-box design that almost mimics the outgoing Altis. The rims on this variant has 16-inch alloys, while higher variants are available with larger 17s. Coming towards the rear, you'll find a redesigned LED taillight accented by a chrome garnish that sweeps along the trunk. The bumper has a nice chiseled appearance and in some angles, it sort of resembles a Lexus IS. Overall, the handsome exterior design will definitely put most Toyota loyalists at ease while also attracting new buyers to the mainstream brand. For the interior bit, I will talk about the variant shown here. Upon opening the door, the first thing I noticed was how off-putting the interior door handles were. It definitely felt cheap and it is the part that most consumers will touch and feel. The overall interior design has nice little details to uplift its rather drab and black cabin. There's an abundance of uninspiring hard plastics found from the door panels, parts of the dashboard, and the center console. Floating tablet style displays are becoming an interior design trend with the car industry and the latest Altis featured that. However, in some markets, Toyota has a different infotainment system from the Philippine spec models that we have. Hence, we get this small touchscreen system with thick bezels and no physical volume knob. More cost-efficient items include a mechanical handbrake, plain fabric seats, and a basic analog gauge cluster. Gripes aside, there are few amenities to elevate this cabin including a power folding side mirror, leather wrapped steering wheel with volume controls, and an easy-to-use single-zone digital climate control. Don't get me wrong, the interior has a nice swoopy minimal design, but then remember its price tag and then think if it's still a welcoming cabin. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Okay, so I'm now at the back seat of the 2020 Corolla Altis, and the front seat is positioned in my driving style. As you can see, I have lots of legroom, but headroom is okay. Though if I were about to exit the vehicle, you can see that the roofline slopes down here, so you have to slope down to exit the vehicle. Rear amenities include a center armrest with cup holders and rear air vents. The trunk is rated at 13.1 cubic feet, which is less than the Hyundai Elantra and Honda Civic. To maximize cargo space, the rear seats fold down 60-40. The all-new Corolla Altis is powered by a 1.6-liter dual VVTi engine mated to either a 6-speed manual or a CVT transmission. Power output is rated at 120 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 154 Newton meters of torque at 5,200 RPMs. It rides on Toyota's new global architecture or TNGA, which also underpins the all-new RAV4, the all-new Camry, and even the Toyota Prius Hybrid. This also means that the all-new Altis is available as a hybrid, which has a 1.8-liter Atkinson cycle engine capable of 97 horsepower at 5200 RPM and 142 newton meters of torque at 3600 RPMs, with the addition of an electric motor that produces 71 horsepower. Fuel consumption ratings are to be announced, but fuel tank capacity is at 50 liters and 43 liters for the gas-powered and hybrid Altis respectively. 
only the top-of-the-line hybrid model comes with Toyota Safety Sense that includes a pre-collision system, automatic high beam headlights, lane keeping assist, lane departure alert, and dynamic radar cruise control. Okay, so that was your first look of 2020 Toyota Corolla Altis. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Also, follow my social media accounts, which I'll link in the description below. I'll see you in the next video. This has been TJ, and thanks for watching.